I got asked this question earlier today. How can I easily send a large video to somebody without creating a paid Dropbox account? I'm going to show you how you can create a free Dropbox account in this video. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all these videos for you. Now, by the way, I love Dropbox. I'm paying for Dropbox for my business because I have it integrated with my entire business systems alongside of my Google workspace. I use the two side by side. But you don't need to pay for Dropbox for uh, less than two gigabytes of storage and sharing. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to sign up. Now, I'm going to sign up with my, myself, my uh, Google testing, and I'm going to do uh, plus Dropbox here. My email address is burrisconsulting at gmail.com for this project, but I'm going to put the plus Dropbox, which creates a, a, a alternative email address. It'll still go, get sent to burrisconsulting at gmail. Now, I'm going to give it any, uh, a password. Now, I've already read the terms and services, so I can click that, and I'm going to create an account. Now, it wants me to try out the 30 days free for the higher paid versions, but I don't want to do that. I want to go right down here. Continue with 2 gigabyte Dropbox Basic. Click on that. Now, I want to know how I'm going to use them. I want to deliver large files. Now, it wants me to confirm my email address. Why is it not able to confirm my email address? Hang on a second. There it is right there. Click on that. Verify it. Now, I can continue. Now, do not do this. It wants me to download the Dropbox app. You do not need to do that. You do not need to download the app, which can connect your uh, computer's hard drive to Dropbox. You may want to, but you don't need to. So I'm just going to ignore that. And the way to ignore that, it's really easy. They don't give you the way out here. Just go up here and get rid of this install. Get rid of that. Hit enter. Boom, I'm in Dropbox. Now, they want me to keep showing you know, new features. I'm okay right now, not now. That wants me to create this folder. Uh, oops, I hit the wrong button. It wa I want to, uh, uh, let's see, I can close this down here. And I can hit the X, the X, the X, and the X. All I want is my Dropbox. That's all I want. I don't need any bells and whistles. It wants me to do this over here. Let's see, click on that. It wants me to download the app. I'm going to say skip it. Maybe it'll stop asking me. Finish setup, add a phone number. For the purpose of this, I don't want to do it. Hit the X. And now I can get my video uploaded and I can share it. So upload my video. Hit a file. Here's the video I want to upload right here. Hit open. It's going to take a little bit to upload it. Okay, it's uploaded. Now, I have two choices. I can just hit copy the link right there. It's getting the link, and it has the link. It's already been copied. And now I can go email it to somebody, send them to them in a Facebook message, a LinkedIn message, or however I want to get it to that link to people. I can get it to anybody I want to share this video with. I hit the X right here and close this. You'll also see that when you hover over this uh, document, which happens to be a video in Dropbox, hover over it. I can copy the link, or I can hit this three buttons right here and copy the link. I can share Share it, uh, share with Dropbox to other people. You want to experiment with this, but for the purposes of this video, all I want to do is quickly and easily get a large video that I can't email in a Gmail message or in an Outlook message. Put it in Dropbox for free, hover over it, copy the link, send that link to anybody you want to send it to. Free Dropbox for up to two gigabytes of storage. Uh, really a great way to share large files with friends, family, and business associates. Hey, I'm Teddy. Not only your Google Workspace and Gmail guy, but I do Dropbox too.